Well, this morning we are looking at new numbers on Sky Harbor's impact, not only here in the Valley, but the entire state of Arizona as we continue our Boomtown coverage. Uh, so we're learning Sky Harbor along with Deer Valley and Phoenix Goodyear are the largest economic engines right here in our state. 12 News journalist Justin Pazera has been going through some of those numbers for you. And what's interesting here, Justin, is these numbers include the pandemic and they are still high. Yeah, they are very high. That's very interesting that they are so high and so few people were flying during the pandemic. But man, we are making up for it now. This is a look right here in Terminal 4. You can see all of these people. They're coming, they're going. You got to think of this, though. All these people, this translates into money. The businesses all around here, the workers, all of that is such a huge economic impact here on the entire state of Arizona. So let's go through some of these numbers. This study was done by ASU and it shows a total economic impact of 44 points three billion dollars a year that's based on 2022 figures so how did we get that hefty number okay so first off one of them is visitors uh, spending at sky harbor is up 12 percent from 2016 to 6.5 billion dollars when we break that down even further an average visitor spends about 831 dollars per trip. An international traveler spends about $1,000 while they're here. Of course, this all takes employees to make this work. The airport system supports about 246,000 jobs with an annual payroll of nearly $15 billion. The airport supports more jobs in the state than any other organization. And then the numbers are only going to go up from here because just this week, the city of Phoenix announced that they're going to build another terminal that's going to be uh, sitting on the west side of the property. The mayor said that the terminal is going to be cutting edge. That's pretty much the only information that we have about it right now. But we're expecting more information to come out at the next city council meeting on May the 7th. Reporting live in Sky Harbor, Justin Pizarro today in AZ.